Welcome back to Lens Studio. My name is Amir, and in this video, we're gonna learn how to make lens logic using visual scripting. Let's go! To start programming, we need to have a file which contains all of our logic. This file is often called script file. To create a script file, click on the plus button in the resources panel and search for script. If you have Lens Studio 3.3 or later, you should see there are two script resources available. The available options are script and script graph. If you want to do programming using JavaScript code, you can select script. But since we want to program using visual scripting, we will go ahead and select script graph. This will create the script graph resource for us and place the script in the resources panel. I'm going to name the script my first script graph. It's worth noting that if you want to have a clean project, please go ahead and create a folder called script and place all your script files in that folder. This makes a project cleaner and easier to use. We need to add our script to a scene object. I already have a manager scene object in the objects panel. Now I can drag and drop the newly created script to the manager scene object. Cool, now we have our script graph attached to an object, so the lens will call it. Now that we have our script file ready, let's double click on the file to have it open in the script graph editor panel. At this point, I recommend changing your lens studio layout so you can see the script graph panel better. As you can see, the script graph panel is divided into a couple sections. On the top left corner of the panel, you can see the name of the script graph file that you are seeing. Then, the main section with the grid background is where we define our logic. Let's see how we can move in the grid area. You can hold the middle mouse button or right mouse button to pan as well as using scroll to zoom in and zoom out in the grid area. If you ever get lost in the grid area, you can always click on the home button on top right corner of the panel to reset the view. Also, you can use the search feature to find the nodes in the grid section. In our script graph, logics are made by connecting the nodes together. Each node does a specific task, and once they are done with their task, they pass it to the next connected node. By default, each script graph contains two nodes. Initialize node runs once when the script first executed while the update event node will run constantly every frame as long as the scene object which is the script attached to is active. So for example, if we want to tell the lens to print hello world in the logger, we can connect the initialize node to print node. To add node, you can right click on the grid area and select add node from library or use the tab key on the keyboard as a shortcut. Then, I can connect these nodes together and send the message of a print to hello world. And there you go! Now you can see if I refresh my lens, you can see the hello world is showing in the logger. At this point, we learn about the basic of visual scripting in Lens Studio. In the next video, we're gonna do a deep dive on how to create logic using script graph in Lens Studio. Thanks for watching and seeing you guys in the next video!